Hello everyone, so today we are going to do the goodbye VP challenge. First question, find maximum number of string pairs. So basically, let us first read this question and then about the constraint and then these examples and then we'll go ahead with the solution part for the thing. As it is not easy question, surely it might not be so much tricky to do, means whatever it is written like that manner only we use the appropriate data structure then surely it would be easy for us to solve now let us go ahead you are given a zero index a words consisting of distinct strings the string words i can be paired with the string words j if the string word i is equal to the reverse string of word j so here i and j both of them like between the word length means basically i and j are indices of this particular words uh vector vector of string in c plus plus if you say so that is what they want to say now return the maximum number of pairs that can be formed from the array words so here know that each string can belong in at most one pair and one more thing which is given here is that all the strings are distinct so there won't be like again and again pairs would be repeating there won't be the key such case so they have already given here now the next thing which is here is about the constraint so constraints are also pretty much low up to 50 only and this is given that always this length would be 2. So that also makes the question much easier. And word of i contains only lower case English letter. Now this also makes question much more easier. Means one edge case now which could be there. Now it uh, is not required to be handled. So overall this question becomes easier because of this constraint and the way we have presented the question. So now the thing is that CB is given now we are required to figure out with dc so the thing is that the most easy uh, thing to do this question would be that we should have some sort of data structure in which we can put this particular word and that also in reverse manner and after that when we get this particular string then surely we will look up in that particular data structure and figure out that yeah this was already there so that simply means that there is one pair already existing and if it doesn't exist then we will simply put that into that data structure only so this is how this becomes much easier version of this question and while doing this because we would be involving a data structure the so space complexity would be order of n for storing all these and about the time complexity By order of n because we will be traversing this whole that's why so this will be the time complexity and space complexity for this question if we use some data structure and if we are not using some data structure then we can check by using two loop basically n square solution so for optimizing the same we are using a data structure and now comes by that which data structure which we can use here see we just need to look up and in that context, we can use a hash map or hash set, or even we can use map or set. But here comes that we don't need to sort them. That's why an unordered map or unordered set is good enough. Now comes the part that here we are required to use unordered set or unordered map. So we don't need any frequency, right? So we will be using just unordered set. Basically, her unordered set in C is used, so that's why I'm writing that. So now comes the part that how we are required to code this question. So yeah, let us go ahead and code this question. So here first we will be using unordered set, right? So, and here we will be storing strings 
right so mm, let us use uh, better use some good word if our strings would be stored here that's fine now we are required to get each string from this in this from the word right and then first thing would be that if we are able to find that particular from this reverse strings if reverse string dot find not uh, i usually don't use that i use this dot count s but here then we won't be using s directly uh, yeah yeah here we will be using s the other part where we need to reverse right so we can directly find that if this exists or not if we are able to find then we will be incrementing our count and this count would be our final answer if count equals to zero else the other scenario would be that we would be required first thing would be that we require a string and because uh, here we are just having two characters in a string and we need to reverse the thing right so we can directly do it like this that's why i was saying that it becomes much easy because only two characters are there right we can easily do this we would be like using a for loop for the thing and now our string is reversed now the thing is because it was not found in that right it is reverse strings that's why we will be just inserting the thing and the string would be inserted so this is what we would be doing and because whenever there is some pair found and count would be incremented right so this will only help us to get that yeah uh, mm, you know, these much pairs were found so that's why we will be returning and the time complexity of the same is order of n i already told that how it is order of n because we are uh, basically traversing this right and here n, n strings are there and by space complexity because of this Mm -hmm. Spelling mistake isn't it there? That's why right. I was just checking. Okay, the errors are really detected. Okay, so yeah, in this it got accepted. Let us submit it finally. Yeah, the errors are got accepted. Now this next question. Okay, that I'll form another video. Yeah. So this was all for this particular video. Uh, if you have any doubt you could comment it out and even if you have any other method that also you could comment so this was all for today for this video basically for this question not for today i'll make other video also thank you